Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thru's. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the newly buffed Marasai. Uh, they improved the, uh, mostly the prototype the Dying Rifle, which uh, now freezes you in place after you fire for a shorter period, uh, has shorter cooldown between shots, and uh, I believe a little more power. Uh, I'll go through the full list of upgrades at the end of the uh, round again if I remember, which hopefully, you know. But, uh, yeah, they also gave it a few more hit points and uh, also overhauled its Vulcans, ma gave them more build stun, gave them uh, more damage, and uh, upped the round velocity. So it's, it's definitely improved and uh, had a good time with it, as I recall. So, you know, that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it at any rate because, you know, I do save these for reasons. I, it's just sometimes... When I go back and look at them again, I can't figure out what that reason was. And in that case, you often don't see them. So, if you're hearing this, I figured it out. Uh, let's see, managed to get one kill already. And... Two? Not quite two. Oops, weapon swap flub, somebody else got the kill. That's fine. Yeah, just, uh, I mean, I still do that every once in a while. It's, uh... Especially uh, today was actually kind of bad for controls because apparently I I just okay I think it has piercing too that's nice I forgot that um, but yeah I've just kind of had uh, ham hands today because I because uh, uh, it was w warm enough for my hands to sweat while I was playing that said I once I got on a roll I got some good stuff so I think they started their tackle just as my uh, sea serpent hit. And my range was not quite good enough to reach them, which is a shame. I'm going to take a bunch of damage now, but uh, number four is uh, shooting at them. Isaac with machine gun, the, da uh, the damage at least is good. And Vulcan charge going on. W wanted to go wide, so I hopefully did not get, uh, you know, murdered. But I got murdered by a, a Nero trainer instead of by the uh, Gym 3 powered. That's something. So, yeah managed to get two kills before I died. It's a good start. And yeah, I like I said before, I am enjoying this map. I think people are gradually figuring out and figuring out where they want to be and where they want uh, want to fight most of the time. But uh, you know, it's still it's still one of those things where people are feeling it out and uh, which is good because in those early stages before there's, you know, an approved way to play a map is when the interesting things tend to happen. So, you know, sometimes they're infuriating things, but sometimes they're just, you know, fun. So, I, I've, uh, I don't know, I always like the phase of things where you're still figuring things out. Once they're, you know, established rules and established, uh, established, like, you know, things that should happen and have to happen, etc. It just doesn't feel as enjoyable to me. That's true of games, that's true of movies, comics, basically everything. You know, when If you go back and look at long-running comic series or anything like that, you can just see ideas that, you know, got flirted with and then just disappear. And some of them sometimes are really interesting. And I just walked myself into the worst possible place. Wow. I did get a kill out of it. I got two kills out of it. Let's see if I can get a third one. Yeah, I figured down here would probably be a good place to be. Full Armor Gundam Ground can do a pretty good amount of damage to me, so... There is no ramp where I am trying to back up, though. That is a problem. So, I'm going to try and get back to the ramp. Pretty sure that uh, Full Armor Ground is waiting for me right up there, but I think it may have also mostly forgotten I was there. Um, yeah, that is a Full Armor Ground. I was... Is it? Yeah. I For some reason, at a distance, I have trouble telling the di uh, difference between that and the Heavy Gundam. I don't quite know why, but I'd much rather be charging down a uh, full armor Gundam ground than a heavy Gundam as a, as a general, certainly. Uh, three and a half minutes to go. We've got a, what, 1600 point lead? That's decent. Not uh, not huge, but decent. Uh, managed to land a shot way downfield. Yeah, the, uh, the rifle is good, and the stop to fire is now so brief that it's really not as much of a problem for it as it used to be. You can uh, you can get a, a lot out of it, and it also charges very quickly these days. So, yeah, it is. it was always a good weapon. It is now a great weapon. So, 
Or at least for my for my purposes, it tends to be. Also, you can rapid fire it fast enough to uh, stun somebody if you can get uh, get like two shots off in a row. But sometimes you just have to stop and aim, which I'm far enough back. You know, one of the things about being far enough back, even against something with a really good ranged attack, is you can at least... Okay, I'm amazed it didn't hit anybody. You can at least get your shot off like that before any before the shot that anybody makes against you reaches you. Ideally. And Serpent. Managed to hit the Nemo Cannon without hitting my allies. And managed to not get killed by the uh, Nero Trainer, though there were two things behind it, and that's also a problem, so... I gave it my best, though. Ah, the Gym 3 Powered finally got me, so yay for them. But yeah, I think this is going fairly well, and like I said, Marasai's buffs work working out very nicely. Um, this is only the level 1. The level 2 and 3, I believe, got uh, further buffs, as has been happening a lot. But uh, I had a good queue for level 1, and that uh, showed off the uh, gave me a chance to show off the ri uh, Rifle and Vulcan uh, upgrade, so it just seemed like it would work. Okay, so, yep, throwing some support fire. There are a lot of uh, points on this map, of course. There's about, I think, six of them. So, you know, you can, if one, I've been on, I've been on uh, rounds where my side and the enemy side have uh, gotten all of them already, and yeah, I was just trying that. This was a very early round I did on this. I might have done this Thursday night, or Wednesday night. But, yeah, just, uh, beam. Nope, okay. Uh, just, yeah, you can really just rain support fire down on people if you, uh, if you get all of them. Or have it rain down on you if the opposite happens. But here comes the Nero Trainer. Somebody caught it in the tackle nicely. Gives me time to charge and obliterate their feet. And I overheated my rifle, but I got the kill, so... Yeah, just, like I said, you can, it fires very quickly now, so if you're willing to take the overheat, which only lasts about, I believe, 10 seconds now, so it's not that uh, terrible, you can do, you know, you can do a lot of damage and stop somebody if you need to. So, yeah, I'm I'm happy with the Marasai. It's definitely, uh, got, it's definitely improved. I did that thing I do, whoops. Got caught by, I think, the Nero Trainer again. Yep. Um, I did that thing where sometimes just... I'm trying to do very subtle, fine uh, uh, adjustments just as I fire, and I end up twitching and hitting a wall. Which, you know... I guess par for the course for someone who has, like, you know, sh uh, shaky hands genetically, but still frustrating. Uh... I've got some very fine painting I mean to do on something soon, and I'm both looking forward to it and not. Eh, 3865 is not bad, I'd say, out of 11,000. 7 kills, 2 deaths, 65k damage. Yeah, that's not bad. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Okay, so... The changes for the Marasai are the hit points have gone up by a thousand, and the upper levels also get uh, enhancements on that. Uh, reaction Booster Program Level 1 has uh, been given to the Level 2 Marasai. Uh, I believe that's the one that uh, makes you boost a little faster if you engage your, uh, your forced injectors. I think. It's either that or a slight turn speed boost. I do not remember off the top of my head. Uh, thruster output increase level 1, which is uh, a thruster output increase. And they also, okay, they also improved the uh, level 2's right shoulder armor buffer to level 3. So, yeah, that's a lot more damage reduction. Uh, the Vulcans have been replaced with a unique version of Vulcans, and instead of head-mounted Vulcan modified, it now has... Marasai had uh, mounted Vulcans, uh, 90 uh, damage a shot instead of 70, and yeah, like I said, higher build stun, higher projectile speed. Um, and lastly, yeah, the Fedayan rifle, which can also be, uh, the prototype version, which can also be used by the uh, Nightseeker Vosky, the ground version, 
Uh, cooldown time between shots is now 1 second. Uh, overheat is shortened from 12 seconds to 10. Uh, yeah, time, uh, you're, uh, the time you're frozen in place after using the weapon is shortened. And I think they actually did that once before recently, too. So it, like I said, you really don't have to stand still very long after you shoot that. Uh, they also, uh, increased both the damage and charge damage of the level 2 rifle, but of course, yeah, that didn't apply to my round. But, yeah, overall, a pretty good, uh, overhaul for Marasai.